All right, in this in this video, I will talk about sample mean and sample variance. Suppose All right, then the then the sample mean is defined as follows well, it's denoted by x bar and is defined as 1 over n times the sum of xi and the sample variance is denoted by s squared, little s squared, and is defined, well there are two different definitions, I will write them down, mm. let me put a big bracket here, right. the first one is uh, 1 over n times the sum of And this is not this is known as a biased version. Uh, this, this is a biased version of the definition of sample variance. I will explain why this is the case later later in the course. And there's a second definition which instead of instead of one over n, it has one over n minus one. And there is a reason for that which I will explain later in the course. And this is known as the unbiased unbiased version of the sample uh, sample variance, right? Okay. So so this is the sample variance and this is the sample mean. But the next thing I'm gonna talk about is to find the, the population mean of the sample mean and the population variance of the sample mean. All right? You shouldn't confuse the sample mean with the population mean because sample means computes the average of the x i's. The x i's constitute a sample. Right? Whereas population, as I said earlier, is something you cannot access. That's why we are taking the small sample, which is a subset of the population. And the sample mean is associated with the sample. Right? right. So in this, uh, in this slide, I'm going to talk about So x bar, remember x bar is the sample mean, right? And I want to tell you how to find the population mean of x bar. Remember population means corresponds to expectation, right? So what you need to do is to find the expectation of x bar, right? In order to find this, you just need to find this. So this is the expectation of 1 over n times the sum of xi. Now if you take the expectation inside, you can write this as, as 
like this. All right. Now what you have here is the expectation of x1 up to the expectation of xn. Right. Now I'm going to introduce a notation here. I'm going to call each of these. I'm going to call each of these mu, right? So here, where um, where mu denotes the popul uh, population mean. In other words, mu mu is the the sample is it comes is a subset of the population, right? So the mu here denotes the the mean of the population where where the sample came from. Um, so. No, not to confuse you, is the population mean of of x, right? By the very okay. okay. So this will be one over n times n mu, and this is mu. So the population mean of x bar equal to mu which is the population mean of x right okay right now the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to find the population variance to find the population variance of the x bar. Remember the population variance corresponds to the operation of var. Right? Okay. So this is var of x bar which is var of of this. Now taking the bar inside, you have, when you pull a constant outside, you may recall this from your probability 1 course, that 1 over n is a constant, so when you pull it outside, it becomes a square. Alright, and this becomes 1 over n squared in brackets okay. now let me call each of these guys here they have to be the same because x1 to xn is a random sample let me call each of these guys here sigma squared So sigma squared here is the variance of x1 up to variance of xn. So in other words, sigma squared is the population, sigma squared here is the population variance of x, right? Okay. Okay, so this becomes 1 over n squared 
there are n of these, so this is n times sigma squared. So this becomes sigma squared divided by n. Alright? Now I'm going to do a couple of examples. Okay, let's start with the with the example that we one of the examples we talked about earlier. You may recall. Uh, Uh, example So this is an example that we looked at earlier, where you have a random sample from a Bernoulli population with parameter p. And you may recall, you may recall that the, the expectation of x, remember mu denotes the expectation of x for a Bernoulli population is equal to p. So from earlier, And you may also recall that the, the variance of x, which we worked out earlier, was equal to p times 1 minus p. Right? So, so the, the expectation of x bar, right, which from our earlier slide, the expectation of x bar is mu and is equal to p and the variance of x bar from our earlier slide is equal to sigma squared by n which is equal to p times 1 minus p divided by n all right so this completes example one okay the second example i'm going to do the same as the previous example that we looked at. We have a random sample from our uniform distribution and we want to find the population mean and the population variance of x bar sample mean. Now from, from the earlier example uh, that we did, okay, you may recall that mu, which denotes the expectation of x, is half for the uniform distribution and sigma squared, which denotes the variance of x, is equal to 1 over 12. Right? So, 
So the expectation of x bar, in other words, the population mean of x bar, uh, which we proved to be equal to mu, is equal to half. And the variance of x bar, in other words, the population, vari population variance of x bar is, we proved earlier to be equal to sigma squared over n is equal to 1 divided by 2 times n. Alright, so this completes example 2 and this also completes the video on sample mean and sample variance. In the uh, next video I shall talk about descriptive statistics.